There is something very important about Singapore uh, since I started coming here uh, in the late uh, in the mid 90s actually Tom you and I came like 1996 97 that was the period we came uh, Chris and I really admire Singapore particularly admire the strategic vision of the Singaporean leadership and its people so we really enjoy coming here and each time we do we enjoy learning about how Singapore views itself and views the world uh, so we are delighted to be here uh, and to continue to come here to Singapore we're particularly delighted uh, because of what I saw today at SUTD. Uh, what has happened in the last two years, in my view, is simply remarkable. Uh, something that was basically an idea a little over two years ago has become a tremendous reality. And I would like to take this opportunity, I really cannot miss it, because I know that I understand that a good fraction of the SUTD board is in the room, to not just congratulate, but thank the SUTD board and in particular its chairman, Philip Ng, for all the progress that SUTD has made. And also, I know there are quite a few members of the SUTD staff is here. I want to thank and congratulate its founding president, Tom McNanty. And also, I have a very soft spot in my heart for all provosts, since I was one for seven years, for <laughs> Provost Chong Tao Chang for all the progress that SUTD has made. I really thank you for it. What I saw today at SUGD was really remarkable. Um, not just, I met not just with the leadership, but with faculty and with students. I met with a number of students. I visited labs. Um, I saw several labs that I understand are called the fab labs at, at SUGD. They are extremely impressive, sincerely speaking. The students are very poised. Uh, I was very impressed by them. And these are all uh, just freshmen. Uh, so this is a very impressive uh, uh, accomplishment for such a short period of time. I remember um, that uh, uh, this idea was put together about two, two and a half years ago. I remember uh, Susan Hockfield, then as president, coming to Singapore in January of 2010. Uh, so at the time, we just signed the agreement. And this is two and a half years later, and we have a very vibrant entity. And that happened very, very quickly, and the progress is very, very fast. I remember that time very well because as Susan was here, I was hosting a delegation of uh, the government of another important nation in the world at MIT. And I was telling them as I was hosting and organized the visit that the president wasn't there because she is in Singapore signing an agreement for a new university. And, uh, these uh, members of the delegation asked me uh, how long did it take for Singapore and MIT to reach this agreement from scratch? And I said, a little less than a year. And he said, that's impossible. It was a little less than a year. And they said there is no way that that particular government could strike a deal with anybody in a year or, 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 or less even, even, even so. Uh, I say that because the agreement was reached very quickly because the progress has been made very quickly. But that is because, in my view, for the long, due to the long-term relationship between MIT and Singapore, this is, does not happen only in two and a half years that we have SUTD today, or in one year, the agreement. The relationship is based on mutual trust and respect that started in that trip that Tom and I and others made to Singapore. It was 1996, uh, late 1996, early 1997, Indeed, we came to explore whether Singapore would be a place in which MIT should have a large program. Each of these things for a place like MIT is an opportunity cost. If we do one, that means that others we won't be able to do. So we have to take those very carefully. And we did come, and we were extremely impressed, and that became the basis for the Singapore-MIT uh, alliance. And as, as Tom said, a few years later, now this is the fall of 2005, uh, we were started conversations to have a presence in Singapore. Uh, I was then provost, and in January of 2006, Tom and I again, with other deans and, and associate provosts, came to Singapore to see whether we should have a presence here. And the answer is, of course, yes, and we did. A few years later, now we're talking about 2008, late 2008, we started thinking about creating a university together with Singapore. By that time, there was no need to sign a delegation. 
we knew each other very, very well. When the opportunity came, we said, this is a very good idea. Let's just do it. And, and that's the importance of having a relationship of mutual trust and respect for all these years. Now, why is that I believe that there is mutual trust and respect between MIT and Singapore? I think, I think there are several principles that both entities, the city-state of Singapore, the nation of Singapore, and MIT held in very high esteem. We both believe in excellence. If we do something, let's do it well. We believe in education. We believe in the importance of science, technology, engineering, and math. And we believe in the importance of a knowledge-based economy, an economy based on innovation. Those, those principles we have in common, and I think has served as a foundation for all the things we have done together. Now, as I said, I went to SUGD this afternoon, and I was extremely impressed by what I saw. I also, even though it's a different university, and as Tom said earlier today, it's organized very differently, there were some similarities. What were those similarities? I saw the tremendous uh, uh, commitment to a strong technical foundation in science and engineering and the education. I saw a tremendous commitment to learning by doing, to hands-on learning. I saw a tremendous commitment to interdisciplinarity. Now, at MIT, we're very proud of our interdisciplinary program. I think SUTD has got it even better. Uh, they, they, what, what I saw today in the education, has, they have it even better. Uh, we both, SUTD and MIT, have a, a, a strong commitment in the, uh, entrepreneurship, in innovation, and in leadership. Uh, and both entities have a strong commitment in mixing and the synergy of education and research. Those are very similar at SUTD and at MIT. Very much of everything else is very different. And I would argue, in many ways, it's a very different and improved version of what we have. After all, as Tom said earlier, our institution is very successful, MIT is. But we organized, we are organized in not many different ways from the way we were 100 and even 150 years ago. We have a chance now, the world has changed, many things are different today, and we have a chance to try to create, now together with Singapore, a university that is very new, even in the way it's organized. Not around disciplines, but around other kinds of themes. And I believe that's going to be the university uh, of the future. I would like to say that it's important to us, it's very important to us, that SUTD becomes a sister institution to MIT. It's a commitment we have made years ago. It's important to us to have an institution that we can collaborate, that's in Asia, that allows our students to have uh, exposure to a global point of view, that allows our students to interact and collaborate with students from this part of the world, and allows our faculty, some of them in this room, to collaborate and, and learn from this part of the world as well. So, it's, in my view, it's extremely important for MIT to have a strong SUTD. Uh, right now, we're working together, and I would argue that in many things, SUTD may be learning from MIT, but we're beginning to learn from SUTD. And that's what makes a very good partnership. So let me just say that uh, I expect SUTD to become a sister institution. I expect us to collaborate for many years to come. I expect our students to learn from SUTD students and faculty to learn from each other. And uh, I expect SUTD not, not just to be good for MIT, as it's becoming, but in my view, I would love it. I would expect it to be very good for Singapore and for Singapore's movement to a knowledge-based economy. With that, let me stop. I would like just to thank uh, Philip Eng for arranging this dinner for, for, uh, for us, for me, for my wife and I. I'm really extremely grateful and touched to see so many of you here this evening. I met quite a few of you, and I, I, I am extremely impressed by people as busy as those in this room can find the time to spend a few, a few minutes with me, which I truly appreciate. So let me stop by thanking you for being here. Thank you, Philip, for organizing this. And I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you may have for as long as Philip lets me. So with that, thank you very much.